In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the four senses of scripture. So these are different ways or different lenses through which we can interpret what the different passages in the Bible are actually saying. The first and most basic one is the literal sense. This is where we simply look at what is the passage actually saying? What are the facts and the basic meanings? Most of the New Testament, where we hear about the life of Jesus, the miracles he performed, the places he traveled to, what he taught, uh, is meant to be taken literally. Next, we get into a category called the spiritual sense, which has uh, three senses within it. The allegorical sense, the moral sense, the anagogical sense. And I will talk about these using the parable of the prodigal son, which can be found in Luke chapter 15, um, as an example. So first of all, the allegorical sense in this, we're looking for the hidden or the deeper meaning within the passage. What is it trying to teach us? What truths do we learn about God, about ourselves as humans, um, about our relationship with God? So in the story of the prodigal son, where you have the father and the two sons, the characters represent, um, number one, the father represents God the father. The younger son who leaves represents people who are sinful, who leave God. And the older son who stays represents people who are faithful to God. So that is the deeper meaning. And overall, the, the deeper meaning within the entire parable is that God is infinitely merciful and will always take us back if we ask for forgiveness. Now, if we look at the story through the moral sense, first of all, we're looking at what is it teaching us about morality, meaning what is right and wrong. The moral sense focuses on how God is calling us to live, what commandments we should follow and why. So in that story of the prodigal son, morally speaking, we should be obedient and respectful to God. That is what we are called to do. The first and most important commandment is to love your God um, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. This one I know not everybody's crazy about, but we should honor our parents because the second most important commandment is to um, love and honor one another, to love and honor your neighbors, especially people like your parents, your elders, your teachers. And the anagogical sense is all about what the passage teaches us about our ultimate destination, which should be the kingdom of heaven. So if we want to get there, what must we do during this life? How must we live? Again, going back to the prodigal son, the anagogical sense would tell us that um, through this parable, we learn that God rewards people who live a just life, like the older son who was with him the whole time. At the end of the story, the father speaks these beautiful words to his older son. He says, son, you were always with me and all that I have is yours. But this younger son of yours was dead and now he is alive. He was lost and he is found. So that shows us that God is always willing to forgive us and to welcome us back. As long as we are contrite, we are sorry for our sins, and we make the effort to return to God. We have a very powerful sacrament in the sacrament of reconciliation that allows us to reconcile and to return to God. So in your textbook, you have a detailed explanation of these uh, different senses of scripture on pages 17 to 21. And they also give you um, more examples, specifically using the first few chapters of the book of Genesis right at the beginning of the Bible. The beige parts are the actual scripture in the Bible. And the green parts are the interpretation of those passages through the literal sense, the anagogical sense, the moral sense, and the allegorical sense. So good luck as you learn more about these four senses of scripture.